Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Matt Kalogli here with SRP Medical Marketing and the Warner James Group. And um, we're going to go ahead and get started here on our Facebook Live. And as always, this will also be posted on our LinkedIn page at SRP Medical Marketing uh, as well. And uh, I want to talk to you today very specific. Oh, by the way, newsflash, it's not snowing here in Charlotte anymore. Um, actually, it got to be 50 degrees yesterday afternoon. And by the afternoon, we were walking around without jackets on and hanging outside. But anyway, so we survived Snowmageddon of April 2019. Okay, so today, what are we going to talk about? I'm going to talk to you specifically about clarity of message and why clarity of message is way more important than the marketing tool that you have and even more important than your credibility. Now, in order to prove this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the 2016 presidential election. I have to move to a caveat in today's 21st century social media century. My discussion of this is not a, a, a repudiation or a support of any political party or presidential candidate, okay? If you can't learn the lesson that you're going to learn today um, in one of the most hotly contested presidential races of our time, uh, then, you know, you might... Uh, there, there, you might want to do something else, but okay, so let's talk about this. And so if you watched, hopefully you watched my video and if you didn't get a chance to yet, go watch my video about patients every single day. And there are three circles that exist to getting patients every single day. So there is clarity, there is the campaigns, and there is context. Now, most people, what they like to do is they want to focus on the campaigns, but they don't focus on the clarity. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about clarity. And you'll see here that I have my trusty dusty little board here, paper board. Okay, so this is clarity, and there's three components of being clear, and that is one, your offer, two, your market, and finally, your message, okay? Now, let's talk about the 2016 election, okay? And this can be said by just about, just about every election. You could paint the same story with regards to um, the election when Obama beat John McCain. Um, and you can also do it when you were looking at Clinton who beat Bush, uh, 41 or when uh, or when Reagan beat Carter in 80 really you can look at this at pretty much at any winning political campaign But I, I think this really illustrates it perfectly. Okay now what makes a great offer? Okay so you will notice That if, you, if the first thing that we're talking about is this right here got it there we go. This right here. We're talking about clarity. Okay, you have to have a really clear message and you have to have a very distinct market and you have to have a very clear offer. So let me give you this example, all right? In the election, if you were to look at the political pedigree of either candidate um, and their experience in office and, and in government, uh, which is vastly different than running a, your own private enter enterprise, um, Secretary Clinton by far would have the credentials, okay? So she would have the context, she would have, you know, she has the credibility, you know, because she's been Secretary of State and a Senator and she was First Lady and First Lady of Arkansas and she's, you know, uh, she, lawyer, da 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 been in politics her whole life, okay? And if you'll notice that the Clinton campaign spent a lot of time talking about all of those things, okay? In contrast, the Trump campaign didn't talk about any of that. In fact, they knew that it wasn't important because the first thing that you have to focus in on is clarity. Okay. Now, what was the thing, and you know, what was what was the phrase that Trump hammered home each and every single day? Make America great again, right? Now, what was the campaign slogan for Hillary? Can anybody remember it? Because there was about ten of them. Okay, there was one that was called Forward. Not really sure what the hell that meant. Um, there was the other one that I'm with her. That came out towards the end, and frankly, when I saw that campaign slogan come out, I knew that Clinton was going to lose, okay? Because there was no clear offer to the constituency of Clinton and to the American people with the phrase of, I'm with her. It, it is, it, it was, that was all clearly about Hillary. It wasn't at all about what the American people wanted. You contrast that, by the way, to what Trump said, and he said, make America great again. Now, what do we know if you're in the aesthetics business? Everybody wants to go back to the past. Everybody views the past, not everybody, most people, specifically most Americans, 
um, view the past as the good old days. You hang any time around my former father-in-law, you can't get him to stop talking about the 50s and the early 60s. Those were the good old days, right? When Eisenhower was president. Um, and there was none of this crashing and banging, as he likes to say. Uh, great guy, though. Um, you know, you, you have to realize that the, the lesson in that is Trump's offer and his message was very clear to his constituents, okay? His message, make America great again. His offer, I'm going to make America great again, or we're going to make America great again together, was a very clear, was very clear to his market. He knew that his market was angry. They felt that America had fallen, be, fallen behind, okay? You contrast this with Hillary's, I'm with her, or forward. Well, forward from what, right? Again, this is not a political statement, but you have to understand this. You've got to really learn to study this, okay? And politics is one of the great things to study when it comes from a marketing standpoint. They have, they have no shortage of funds, that's for sure, okay? So what, is a what are the elements of a clear offer, okay? You have to make your offer. Everything you do has to be about them has to be about your patient and what they want, okay? It has to be about them. The messaging has to be about them. I, I tell this to all of my doctors all the time. Nobody, nobody really cares at the end of the day where you went to school. I hate to tell you that. I know you spent a lot of money on it. I know you're going to, somebody's going to email me or contact me and say, yeah, but I had a patient the other day that was, you know, because I went to the University of North Carolina or I went to Stanford or I went to, uh, wherever, right? University of Texas Medical School, that's why they, they came to see me. Okay, there are outliers in everything. There's outliers in every situation. But the reality is, and look, I've been selling for 25 years. This is what I do. I, I sell and I market. I've been doing this, I've done this in 30 niches on five continents. I've done this for ages. You have to make the offer about them, okay? You have to tell them the offer. You have to make your offer very clear. I know that that sounds silly, but you have to tell them the offer. You have to tell them what's in it for them and the offer. So let me give you an example here. I've got about two and a half minutes left. And by the way, if you would like to work directly with us to double your uh, practice in, in the next 60 days, and you want to forex your practice in the next 12 months, all you have to do is message me directly or you can post something down below. We are looking for four new clients to work with in the month of April, okay? Uh, we can only take on one new client a week in the month of April. So, okay. So let me give you an example of an offer, an offer that is about them, okay? You want, let's say that you are doing erectile dysfunction, okay? What does a guy want the most? He wants to be able to perform in the bedroom. He wants to be able to have sex again, okay? He wants to be able to satisfy his partner. All right, so you want to talk specifically when they're in your office or when you're doing your marketing, you want to talk specifically to them about what life is going to be like when they are able to perform in the bedroom again. You don't want to talk about the medical component of here's how the medicine works or here's how this, nobody cares, all right? No one cares. What they care is, am I going to be able to do something that I used to be able to do all the time in my youth that I can never do now, okay? And so you want to make sure that you're very clear to them about the offer. And, you know, you, in the ED space, it was coming to the clinic one time, meet with the doctor, get a test dose. If you don't see results in the office, you owe us nothing. That's our guarantee to you. How can you use that in your business? How can you use that in your practice? We used to guarantee the results all the time, okay? And we knew that sometimes we were not going to be able to get perfect results, but we knew that that was maybe 3% of the time, maybe 4% of the time, it didn't really matter to us. Overwhelmingly, we were going to get positive results for our patient. So when you are creating your next offer, when you are creating your next marketing campaign, I want you to keep in mind the 2016 presidential election. Remember, do you want to be making America great again? Do you want to be a very clear message to your market and to have a very clear offer? Or do you want to be something that's nonsensical that doesn't really focus in that doesn't really tell them what's the benefit for them other than I'm with her. I'm with her just makes it sound like I'm going to have to go pick up somebody's jacket. All right. That's all I got time for. Um, have a great day folks.